We are just 100 days out from the November election. Pressure was building on the president to step aside. Now he is announcing that he has. Rachel, it's an extraordinary moment in American history. This is the first time we have seen a sitting president bow out of re-election since Lyndon Baines Johnson in 1968. And it, it comes, unlike Johnson's move, which happened in January of that year, it comes after he has already gone through a primary process, after he has already effectively won the Democratic nomination, which now raises the huge questions, as you allude to, of what happens next. In his letter announcing this extraordinary decision, he mentions his vice president, Kamala Harris. He, he, he says, I want to thank my vice president, Kamala Harris, for her for being an extraordinary partner. But he makes no reference about what he will do in terms of an endorsement. Will he endorse? Will he not endorse? Will there be an open process? What happens next? He says we, he will talk to the nation in the coming days more about his decision. But, but now the Democrats have to figure out what happens, who replaces Joe Biden as the Democratic candidate for president.